Could this truly be the Naruto fighters we've all been waiting for? Or is it just... Oh, sorry. Or is it just some other way to actually scam your money and thinking, Hey, it's another Naruto game. I'm sure this is going to be a lot better than the last one, right? <laughs> yeah. Is it really one of those games? Or is it a lot better? And also, does it proceed and surpass Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 2? Or is Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 2 a lot more better than Generations? Well, well the one way to find out, gamer fans... This is my review of Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Generation. Let's get started. Now, the story of Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Generations is, well, it's not it's not like the actual storyline that they had in Ultimate Ninja Storm 2 and Ultimate Ninja Storm 1, but clearly it was just one whole story combined into one. No. This time they decided to do something completely different, and that was to basically just have each individual character have its own story. Well, not every single character, just pretty much mostly the main ones, like Naruto, Sasuke, Kakashi, um, Killer B, Itachi, and and many others that I'm not really going to say or whatever. It's pretty much up to you in order to play the game yourself and actually experience all the other story modes available in the game. And I do have to say the story choice was actually really good, with incredible animated cutscenes, incredibly awesome voice acting, and it actually gives in quite an amazing experience with the actual series more than the anime and the manga does, and I'm damn serious about that. Like, there is so much stuff that the anime and manga couldn't possibly succeed more than the story to this game. It's actually one of the best storytellings of Naruto around, and I have to say, they did a pretty damn good job representing one of the most... Um, one of the most inspiring shonen tales ever created on the face of the planet. Now don't get me wrong, I like other shonens as well. I mean, even though Naruto has his ups and downs most of the time when it comes to future manga and anime story plot lines, I do gotta say that the way they present the story actually makes me, well, more of a fan than I, well, it's actually making me more of a bigger fan than I used to be back when Naruto first came out. Now I'm sort of, now I'm sort of, you know, iffy iffy about it. But now, when it comes to Naruto, especially after playing this game, it makes me realize I'm becoming more of a Naruto fan again than I technically, you know, never was. You, you know, the way I feel about Naruto nowadays, it's kind of meh, mixed feelings. And I'm not really into the whole, uh, what's going on. The manga's kind of, yeah, it, it's sort of interesting, but at the same time, it's like, it drags on for way too long, and I don't really care, especially when it comes to wrong character development choices. So that's pretty much all I gotta say on, on that. I mean, I'm not here to talk about the actual Naruto um, franchise. I'm pretty much just talking about, you know, I'm here just to talk about and review the game um, Storm Generations. So without further ado, let's just get started with the review. I just wanted to explain how the storyline works. And to me, it actually works quite good, and I think it's much better than just having those gimmicky boss battles. While they may seem cool, they're very gimmicky and they're really frustrating and take so much time and effort that it's not necessary because, think about it, this is a fighting game. Do we really need boss battles in a fighting game? If you want boss battles, do it in an RPG or have an FPS or something or an adventure game. Not a fighting game where you basically choose like one, two, or hell even four opponents, you know, depending what kind of fighting game you play, and combine all those, you know, players to have a one time awesome incredible brawl and do awesome combo specials. Not, you know, basically going around, finding useless items, going on pointless missions, and then going to these ridiculous boss battles. It's not even funny. Even though I know Storm 3 might actually have it, but hopefully Storm 3 does manage to make it well and make it more balanced than unlike Storm 2, where it really wasn't on that balance. And the boss battles can get very frustrating very, very quick, which was my biggest gripe with Storm 2. And it was really unnecessary when it comes to a fighting game like Naruto, especially since most of the fighting games in Naruto are actually pretty good, better than, I hate to say this, nowadays when it comes to DBZ games, and they try so many times, but fail. And I hate to say this, but Tenkaichi 3 and Budokai 3 will always be classics. Let Naruto have its time to shine, and many other shonen animes to get more of its prime. DBZ needs to takes a little more of a break, or just basically not come back to the gaming at all if they can't basically try. Okay, enough of me rambling and ranting. I'm um, at the actual game itself. I'm not going to spoil anything with the story, so again, play the game yourself if you want to be spoiled with the actual storylines. Now, on to the review. 
Now, when it comes to the fighting in Naruto Shippuden Ultimate, in Naruto Shippuden Ultimate and Destroying Generations, the fighting in this scene is pretty much the same, except that the fighting methods are more fast, fluid, and tweaked, unlike in the other version where the combo seemed a little bit lackluster. Well, this one, they pretty much fixed it. Not to mention, they pretty much fixed some of the lag. Most of the lag has been pretty much fixed too. When it comes to online matches, not to mention, when it comes to spamming, most of the characters are like, <laughs> not touching and <laughs> pain, and oh, not to mention, <laughs> have been pretty much fixed and non spam, which is actually much better than actually, well, you know, basically just spamming and kind of ruining most of your gameplay experience. The spamming was really what killed Ultimate in the Storm 2 when it comes to online, especially when certain characters, like I sort of mentioned a little joke there, were pretty much unused when it comes to spamming, and it was really annoying. However, in this one, they very fixed the spamming, and I have to say that it did a really great job with it. Now, when it comes to online matches, they really did so much to improve. Like, online tournaments, something that's never happened in a Naruto game before, and I gotta say, they did a really damn good job with it. When it comes to online tournaments, it's very fun. So, you can gather up your friends up to, I believe, like, eight people. Yeah, I believe it's like eight people. You gather up eight people, you have yourself a tournament, whoever's the survivor wins the championship. That's pretty much how it works. It's kind of similar, kind of, to the World Martial Arts tournaments you would have in Dragon Ball Z games. Except this time around, it's not really a whole bunch of opponents. You know, especially when it comes to upgrading it like the Cell games or any other upgradable tournaments in the Tenkaichi series. This time, it's just regular old tournaments with eight people having fun, and whoever survives the most wins. And it's actually very fun. Now, when it comes to the fighting mechanics, it's pretty much the same type of controls, except this time they add a little feature that kind of gets on my nerves, just a little bit, until I have to get used to it. And that was the substitution bar. The substitution bar is pretty much at the bottom. Now, you know your chakra has its bar, you know, the blue bar that you see me powering up, right? Well, apparently there's a nulla bar at the bottom, but a yellow bar called the substitution bar. Now, the substitution bar is very limited, and you have to be very careful how much you use it. Because otherwise, if you use it way too much, then by all means, that's basically it. And, yeah, you pretty much will lose your chance to defend yourself against attacks and be able to substitute yourself. So it's very, very limited, so please use your substitutions wisely. And also, what I really love about this is teamwork against your opponents, Teamwork specials, which I really love in this. <sighs> so beautiful. Incredible. In the cinema, in the graphics, and especially when it comes to the teen specials and their ultimate jujus, have far much improved, you know, over the counterpart of Storm 2. Even though some of the old characters use the same old, um type of special. Some of them have been upgraded, sort of. Especially when it comes to the younger generation of Naruto. Um now, when it comes to the older generations, there are pretty much some newer ultimate jutsus to try out, especially with the younger ones, which is actually really cool. But however, some of the characters have some of their old ultimate jutsus. There are quite a more upgrades here and there, but it doesn't matter because it still looks just as good as it did back on Storm 2, so there's really no complaints about that. Now, again, the fighting mechanics are very good. It's been improved. The only thing that really um, that bothered me at first when I played it is the whole substitution bar, and, you know, the way it's limited kind of isn't the way I expected it. I kind of just wanted it, okay, make the substitution bar the same bar as your chakra bar, not just, okay, why don't we just make the substitution bar its own separate unit, which is something I really did not get used to at first. But once you do, it is still pretty fun, and, you know, you're just having yourself a pretty much a good time fighting um, online. It's barely, you know, noticeable. So, but you can't avoid that problem. Um, it will get a little frustrating, but other than that, you know, it's just a little bit nitpick here and there. Hopefully when it comes to Storm 3, they don't add that feature in there. If they do, hopefully they actually, you know, create it right. And hopefully they fix it to a degree that's actually right and more suitable, um, for its use of its own chakra substitution bar. Now, I talked about how the finding mechanics are. They're still pretty much the same. They're pretty much fixed. Most of the spam characters have finally been fixed, just like they did with Ultimate Ninja. I mean... Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. So the fighting mechanics are good. Graphics are very nice. Online is very fun. The storyline, like I've just mentioned before, is actually very good and a lot better than Storm 2 storyline again when it comes to the useless missions and pretty much really awkward um, 
voice work when it comes to the 3D mouths actually moving, and they don't even actually move with the words. But when it comes to the anime cutscenes to this game, they actually go along quite well with the words, and I really like that a whole lot. Um, and and it's actually really good. And what was the negative side when it came to Ultimate Tenkaichi, they tried doing the same thing with anime cutscenes, but it failed, because technically when it came to that, it didn't work out quite good, because unfortunately when it came to the anime cutscenes, the dub voice was just very off, and the mouth movement seemed very, very off, kind of like watching one of those old, horrible dubs from back in the 70s or in the 80s, or pretty much one of those old, hilariously bad dubbed Godzilla films. So yeah, if you want to laugh your ass off, go watch the anime cutscenes to DBZ Ultimate Tenkaichi, because while they're good, the mouth movements again barely match at all. But when it comes to this game, they did it right and they did it well. This is an example of time and patience makes a game. See Dragon Ball Z not called Ben Knight developers? You can learn from this. When it comes to Naruto, they know how to develop right. Even though in the beginning, you know, I will admit it seemed a little rushed when it came to Storm 2, when it came to this, the cutscenes were actually done very good, and the voice work was actually very good. The character roster for the game is over 75 characters, which is plenty enough to actually get your thrills. But again, we still have people bitching and moaning that it's not really enough, and they want more characters, it's not what they wanted, this and this and that, blah 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 blah. The same constant complaints that we hear in every Naruto fighting game released. So, all I gotta say to that is just, guys, chill the fuck out with that, okay? Alright, look. They don't want to keep adding a lot more characters and a lot more spoilers. And again, we have one more arc in the actual manga series, then once that's over, even in the anime version, Storm 3 will be coming out, and it will be the final Storm game actually released, because by then the PS4 will be coming out and whatnot, and the Naruto series as a whole will finally be completed and concluded. So then there will be really no need to actually continue with Naruto games, which I hope they don't follow the same route as Dragon Ball Z, where they basically keep continuing, you know, the, the same type of games over and over again, it gets really repetitive, and we just have one particular game that's perfect enough as it is, and we don't need these kind of stupid upgrades and whatnot. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much all I gotta say for Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 2, really. It, I mean, Ultimate Ninja Heroes. So, I mean, Ultimate Ninja... Ugh, generations! <laughs> oh, God. I keep screwing that name up so badly. Jesus. Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Hero. I, generations! God damn... Alright, whatever. <sighs> whatever, whatever, whatever. Ultimate Ninja Storm Generations. <sighs> okay, I got it. Thank God. Don't sue me. Okay, so I guess this means I could actually tell you my final thoughts on the overall game. Now, since I basically covered everything in the game, there's really nothing else to say for this game, really. It's just that it's a really fun... Again, I have really nothing else to say other than that. Well, what are my recommendations? I definitely say go pick up Ultimate Ninja Storm Generations. It's actually totally worth it. Now, before you keep s now before people say that all oh, it's just basically like Ultimate Marvel's Capcom 3, but this is except it's just Storm 2. 0.5 or something like that. That's what I thought at first. But when I saw the actual improvements and what they can actually do with the game, and Namco Ben and I really did not disappoint when it actually became not like Capcom, where they pretty much just screwed their fans over. This time around, they actually did it quite good. The upgradables were totally necessary, and this definitely gets me hyped to play the final Storm game, which will be Storm 3 with everything. Hopefully, the only thing I really hope is that they have all the Naruto characters, like all the Naruto characters from the first generation to the second generation. And then overall the game will be very good and it'll definitely be worth the pickup. So, here are my overall thoughts on Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Generations. So my overall thoughts on Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Storm Generations is that the game is actually far more from what I expected it to be. At first I had my doubts thinking it was just going to be a rushed little side game until pretty much Storm 3 is in development. However, they proved me wrong with everything I just mentioned in the review, starting from the story, to the gameplay, the graphics, the music, and the voice acting. 
all down to be pretty much a really huge success for me. And I really do love the upgrades such as the tournament mode, which is really fun. But I really wish you can have like a whole bunch of people join the tournament. But I guess eight people is fine. But it would be really cool if they actually did do like they did in the World Martial Arts tournament. But having a bunch of people like they do and having like upgrades like the tuning exam, that would have been awesome to have a tuning exam tournament and to have like other stuff related to like tuning exam type tournaments, that would be really fun. Like hopefully in Storm 3 they can nail that in the final game. But whatever. Um the other thing that's just a little bit of a problem is still for me is the substitution bar. I still pretty much have to get used to it that, you know, it has its own bar and it's not really the same thing. Sometimes I get confused and most of the battles are not him. It's actually hilarious, especially when I'm online. So if they can just fix that little problem in Storm 3, then hell, I'm definitely looking to st uh, definitely looking forward to Storm 3 in the future. So my overall thoughts on the game, this game gets a really great score of a 9 out of 10. And yeah, that's pretty much my overall final thoughts on the game. Um, is this game perfect by all means? Absolutely not. But is it fun as hell? Very good fighting? And is it, you know, worth all the money? Even if you're an Naruto fan? You bet your ass it is. It's actually one of the best fighting games in Naruto that I've played so far on the PS3. Now, people may want to claim and say Storm 2, but for me, it's definitely gotta be Generations. For what I really wanted, this is finally it. This is what I've been waiting for for a Naruto game. And definitely cannot wait to pick up the final installment with Storm 3. So yeah, you guys, that's my final thoughts on the Ultimate Ninja Storm Generations video game for PS3. Again, the score is a 9 out of 10. Thank you for watching. I am Anime Game Freak 89 over now. And to all you gamer fans out there, keep on playing until the day you die and peace the fuck out. Later.